Award mm -hmm. in Lilies of Field mm -hmm. with Sidney Poitier. Right. Did she know what an Academy Award was about? No. I know that sounds like a silly question. I know, she didn't. She didn't. She didn't have a television at the time, so she never had watched the Academy Awards on television. She had done live New York TV at mm -hmm. that point in the 50s and early 60s. And when she found out about the nomination, she didn't really know what it was. And she also was working in a, the Lost and Found department at City Center at the time of her nomination. <laughs> Anything to make a living. <laughs> you say she was making okay money. Was she just bored? No, she, well, because she had an accent and she was already in her 60s at that point, there simply weren't that many roles for women in their 60s with an Austrian accent. And mm -hmm. she played Russian women and Italian women and all kinds of women with European accents. But um, she had broken her wrist right after shooting Lilies of the Field and so had been unemployed for a year because of that um, and was working, well, unemployed as an actor and was, was then forced to work as a, in a minimum yes. wage job in city center just to pay the rent. And um, at that point, my grandfather had left her, so she was alone. And um, and when she found out about the nomination, she was <laughs> working in the Lost and Found. In the Lost and Found. Well, girl has to have a gig, <laughs> right? And she was on the Phil Silver show. Yes. Mm -hmm. She was on the soap. Search for tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Did you ever see her? What's it? Was the time frame right for you to see your grandmother on a soap opera? Yes. When I was in nursery school, I would come home every day, and I guess nursery school was just a half a day, and we would turn on the television while we ate lunch, my mother and I, and um, watch <laughs> grandmother. Who did she play on Search? Oh, Do you gosh. remember her her character? I. I don't remember the name of the character. I only remember that she was the grandmother of a boy named Eric. And so I thought okay. that was so nice that the television Eric shared the same grandmother. Really? That I yes. It must be odd for it. You know, my grandson watches me on TV and he mm. has not a clue what I'm talking about, but but he does know it's me. Mm. You know, Baba on TV. <laughs> yes. Right? It's probably the only two year old we have watching Studio Four. <laughs> Probably. Mm -hmm. uh, when you wrote this, yeah. uh, how difficult was it for you? How did you cobble it all together? I mean, she is your grandmother and you have great memories of her, mm. but how did you get the facts right? Who, who was around to talk to? Her sister was around. Um, her sister, Liesel, her younger sister, was the only member of that generation still alive when my grandmother passed away. So I found out something, well, very little really about yeah. their youth together because her sister was a character as large as my grandmother so any question I asked about my grandmother was well Lily blah 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 but I did this and I did that so um, <laughs> I love one of the times when when you told her you were going to be an actor and you were going mm -hmm. to acting school yes. and she said you know is there really anything to be learned that you can't learn <laughs> right? Right. Yes. She felt that acting can't be taught. You either have it or you don't. And that was <laughs> it. <laughs> yeah. You have it. Or do you believe that? Um, no, I don't. She's not here to listen. I don't believe that. <laughs> mm -hmm. I really think um, that if somebody has a desire, that uh, it can be brought out of them. We can always improve. Perhaps yeah. she was a natural born actor. I Perhaps think she not. Was. Sounds like she was. I think she was. Was she ever grumpy? Was she difficult? Um, I think later in life she struggled with arthritis and mm -hmm. I think she was in a great deal of pain and that brought out a bit of a grumpiness. But she always said, I never had an inferiority complex <laughs> until later in life when she couldn't get roles because of her age and she wasn't sure whether she'd physically be able to handle mm -hmm. it. I think. That Great happens insecurity. to many actors, uh, especially female actors. Mm. They're, they're, they're not writing the roles for you. You can't get roles. You're at your prime. You're yes. in your prime. All your skills are there. That's right. In Golden Theater, but where are the roles? Yeah. On Golden Pond, I guess that's one. Uh, mm. How has it affected your career, this play? It's really opened my career up, and I think... Um, well, David Mamet wrote this book, True and False, mm -hmm. 
And in it, he talks about, how, he kind of agrees with that idea that acting can't be taught in the sense of in a school. He, he says it's useless to go to acting school. You should just, if you want to be an actor, do it, that you'll learn by doing. And I feel that Lilia has enabled me to learn how to perform and how to be an actress by getting on stage and falling on my face I'm, you know, at the beginning mm. and still getting up and doing it again. Sure. And, and that I've really honed the craft that Pacific way. Theater on West 12th mm -hmm. until October 7th? Right. One show a night? One I show hope a night. only one 90 minutes long. Right. I like that. You can go for dinner, you can have some theater. Yes. Hard on you. It's fine. It's fine. What do you miss about your grandmother? Is there one thing? I miss being able to share what I'm doing with her. She mm -hmm. always said, call me, collect any time and I took advantage of that <laughs> all my life <laughs> and um, and I miss being able to pick up the phone and just share with her what I was doing because she rejoiced in my triumphs and, <laughs> mm -hmm. and, and she was happy there was another black sheep actor in the family right exactly yeah, <laughs> how was. nice to meet you good to meet you too thank, yeah, thank you. you for doing this yeah welcome Libby Scala in, in Lilia we can't just say Lilia. She would never have said Lilia. No. She's Lilia. Lilia. Okay. Uh, tomorrow, somebody's nobodies and the politics of dignity. Princeton scholar, citizen scientist, former consultant to Indira Gandhi, Robert W. Fuller journeys into nobody land to identify and investigate rankism. And red, white, and drunk all over, wine writer, sommelier, wine judge Natalie McLean takes us on a wine-soaked, sensuous journey from grapes to glass. Thanks for watching Studio 4. There will be lots more on Shaw TV, only on Shaw TV.